Super sad world. Yeah. It's called Life Honey? Hope you hate my level. <laughs> We're smarter, not ha. This one looks like the real one. And it's ice physics? My guy. I know you're like 15 years old at this point, but you gotta stay with me, baby. You gotta stay with me. I got some dumbass levels to judge. I appreciate that, Red. I just need to clean all the contacts on it. Just need to clean all the contacts on it. clean this thing. Probably just gonna start making save states immediately.
Does it use something that's, uh... Is... Did they intentionally use, like, uh, SA-1 or something? They might have actually used SA-1. Alright, well I won't be able to make save states if they used SA-1. SA-1 is a special chip that was included in some Super Nintendo games. Super Mario World didn't use it, but someone made a patch uh, years ago that allows you to use SA-1 capabilities in Super Mario World ROM packs to take advantage of the increased amount of memory. joking. Okay, so there's there's three blocks there that I need to hit to give myself a little path. Overall, yeah, these levels are fantastic. It's all ice physics, so it's miserable to just move around. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if, if at any point I'm just not feeling it, then I'll I'll stop for the night. I'm not going to I'm not going to judge levels angry. I thought it was a tongue-in-cheek thing when the level said, I hope you hate my level. I can't help but feel like he meant it.
Gotta tell you, Sam, I, uh, I don't know how it's going right now. Sam, is there like an announcements list for contests coming out? Because I've had a few people saying, I wish I knew when the next uh, event was. And I don't know if there's any way that they can be notified of that sort of thing. Thank you so much for the 62 months. I really appreciate it. Hey Sam, out of curiosity, was there like instructions given to the to the level creators of themes to use? Because there have been a few specific themes that have happened a few times and it feels weird for it to be organic. just ends there. That's cool. Is there a keyhole somewhere I don't know about? Maybe it's below the screen and that's what the blue coin is indicating? Intro level text box said, I hope you hate my level. And I thought it was going to be one of those things like from the first contest where people said that they made a bad level and then it turned out to be a good level, but I think this person meant it. I think this person... was just fucking ready to go. This person woke up and decided to cause problems.
And unless I'm just having some Naki Tech issues, they used SA1, and I can't use save states, so... Oh, the key has a blue coin as well. Okay, I think that is trying to indicate that to me. I think I was right. Fuck you, and I cannot understate how much I mean that earnestly. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I want you to know, if you are hearing me say this, I want you to know that that is not like a fun fuck you. That's like a real fuck you. I'm just having Naki Tech issues. Cool. was a pixel too far right. I thought I was. I thought I might be too far right, but I thought I might just be within that. I thought I might be within the safe range. Thank you, God. Not bad. Good level.
Oh, was there a Mogus? I stopped looking at the screen. Is that a Mogus? Damn. Can't believe I missed a hot Mogus. I gotta clean my Naki Tech or get a new one. I don't know. I'm having some Naki Tech issues. Damn, Nanus and the Fetish made by Luario. Done dealing with an alien beaver tomato fight, Mario sees a strange portal and went ahead to investigate. You're goddamn right, I did. Weird Dimension 52. Oh, this really is a uh, Action 52. Touch those gates to reverse Mario's gravity, which can allow you to get to passages you normally can't. It's worth mentioning that trying to jump on enemies while on the ceiling barely works, so using fire circuit. <laughs> Holy shit, it is action 52. Because nothing works. I've never played Action 52. Uh, I mean, I've played Cheetah Men, but I've, I've never streamed it, really. Oh. 
I want to know how the cave works in Upside Down World. It automatically teleported me there? Why is it warping me right away? I don't want to be warped. Okay, so it seems like specifically cape detection. I want to see if I can get all the dragon coins. Oh no, we're flying upside down. That's happening. I saved a cape in my reserve box. Mostly normal.
Cool. Mercifully short is a note I reserve for levels that are bad, but fortunately didn't make me play it for too long. That one wasn't bad. It was fine. It was a fine level. It was, uh... It was, it was fine. Anyway, so this weekend I have a nice birthday party with my GF, and then we worked on a song for our choir. She was far away, though. Tutorial. Get. Good. One, boost blocks have iffy physics, just look at coins. If there's a coin on the boost block, you need to jump upon reaching it. Two, also do not press any button at the start of the level. The start of the level shoots you like some human cannonball. Got it. Oh, those, those, you just stand on them. Oh. 
jerk move. gonna happen. Still says 30. Yep, didn't update it. That's my bad. Thank you for helping me remember to do my job right. Not bad. Died in the title screen? Alright, I'll play the title screen for you. Goes a little something like this. And you come over here and you hit that. Boom. It really is C5, huh? It's a Dins. I didn't want to skip this contest. This is what I came up with. Untitled Abstract Level. Oh, 
Oh, damn, this is not easy on the eyes, huh? Oh, this one has ice physics too? Fuck yeah, let's go. So this is a lot of fun to play with. Like, you just move automatically. That's a fun mechanic.
Me and this fish are going places. I'm bringing this guy with me everywhere I go. Actually a really cool level. I mean it was hard on the eyes, but just like a legitimately nicely designed level with some kind of strange stuff in it. I ain't mad. I ain't mad at it. It's fine. Last last kill DC had a Bubsy level. Okay, it's fine. Hello, Mario. Bring me three apples. You got it, babe. Oh my god. <laughs> this was made by someone who understood Paris and Grey Witch. And I don't think it's okay for people to understand Paris and Grey Witch. Okay. They understand Paris and Grey Witch. I didn't, but I kind of wish I did. I hope that you have to read this text box for the apples to spawn. Because that would be the final touch in the perfect Paris and Grey Witch experience. Never give up. Emily Sin, thank you so much for the 26 months. Never give up. This is actually incredible. Firm belief. Thank you for having firm belief in firm belief, Carrie. You have taken the first step towards self-improvement. Your next task is to find seven apples. You know, pandering or no, this is actually really impressive. 
I mean, it's it's genuinely, it's genuinely trying to invoke Paris and Grey Witch. Okay, now it's really pandering. I apologize for the unlit candles. Also, to progress, you must collect ten sky apples. You can pander all you want. This is qualitative judging. You don't get bonus points for it. What if this is shoved up? Shoved a nose of the pears and the gray witch and knows of the law Milana. Oh. Yeah, this one's Fearless Challenger. I think if I stay here, they come to me. You think this is more likely to be Amethyst? The only reason I say shoved is because I don't know. I don't, has Amethyst made a hack? I I I'm not saying she's not perfectly capable. She's probably more capable than most, but I just don't know that she ever has. But I, I know that Shubda has, and I know she's played Paris and Grey Witch, and I know that she is aware of La Mal Ca Cognizant. Is seven enough? No? Okay.
<laughs> Patience is a virtue. Why are these hard? Well, I'm thinking go ahead and collect all the bananas. I, I think it's cute. I'm sorry. Determined to go forward. For your final task, Mario, you must select only one apple and bring it to me. Selecting more than one will hinder your cause. I was supposed to hit the select button. That's why select was capitalized. That was shockingly high effort for being a really elaborate Author Blues targeted shitpost. I ain't mad. That was super cute. I'll send it over to him. No fuzzy, just dizzy. Thank you, Mario. Oh no, I don't feel very good. Oh god, my controls are reversed. My controls are only reversed when I'm on Yoshi. And now it's gonna make me swap back and forth really fast. All right, I get it. I fell for it.
My goal is to get so good re with reverse controls that you won't even know that the level has reverse controls. So far, I'm not there yet. Quick, all the blues, think fast! See you, Yoshi. No fuzzy, Jesse Dussy.
Irate Gamer. Same. Mario is going on a badass quest to kill bad lame dude to save his beautiful babe. That is something Mario does. As long as he doesn't say any gamer words, I'm fine. Oh no. Oh no. This is the main enemy you'll face. He's a chuck that throws baseball circuit toward you. He cannot jump and you can kill him. We had a really rough level last QLDC with this this mechanic. To break these blocks, you must do a ground pound. You do it by pressing down while you're in the air. Chucks are pretty common in levels in general, and definitely more common in bad levels, just because they're kind of a frustrating enemy in a lot. Like, no matter what version of Chucks you're dealing with, they're often a pain. Yeah, the homing means that jumping on them is always going to be uh, risky.
Gain the ability to throw a baseball, so yours can truly hit things. Do not lose your power up. Kill yourself if you do. Alright, if you say so, boss. Checkpoint bad on purpose! Actually, assuming that the, um, the checkpoint is the actual halfway point of the level, this seems like it's going to be over before it actually gets to be outstaying its welcome. This, this level is kind of sick so far.
What team does Mario play for? He's by. I actually liked that level. Uh, I, I thought that despite it being kind of janky in its own way, it was really well done. Uh, if I had been able to tank a hit, I wouldn't have had to kill the Chucks. I just didn't consider the option.
All right, a cheat in le reference. Can I just say, I know that this song has become a meme because of Cheetah Men, but it unironically goes hard. Like, this song belongs in a better game. I'm gonna get hit, that's fine. You have infinite jump. Sick. Okay, so this is a Cheetah Man level. Got it. I'm making the choice to not engage meaningfully with any of these mechanics. I just want to say that.
Well, eh. I'll give them what they want. It's because I waited for the screen to scroll so far to the right before touching the gold tape that I died to the auto-scroller. I'll give the people what they want. It's not really a trap of any sort. It's kind of the natural side effect of, uh... Yeah, I died to the left screen scroll. Thanks, Arkrantz. I got a two that time. This is a short message. It ends up. <laughs> Well, I, I'm gonna have to get all 96 exits now just to find out if anything else has changed. It's hard for me to be too critical of that level. I mean, it was definitely janky nonsense, but like it knew well enough not to go for too long, and it didn't.
It's not very nice. Hey guys, did you know that in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding... <sighs> this... this level has some vibes, that's for sure. I guess I'm gonna just have to take the hit. I'm not... I might be able to get a spin jump to do it. Did I not update the number? No, I haven't updated the number. Let me do that. It's remarkable how challenging this is. Thank you. 
You're welcome. not know how I was supposed to solve that, but okay. very hard to get enough height to not take a hit there. Yes, that is the conceit. Hey, stop hitting me, that sucks. The next hack I play after this one is going to feel so weird. This doesn't even begin to touch the Terry Davis level. We're talking about like different ballparks. They're not playing the same sport. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Left side barrier tower. pretty easy honestly to come up with set dressing that felt less gross like you could just call the level jumpin' or something It's called Mario is Fat Teehee. This is not, for what it's worth, this is not doing the same thing Left Side Barrier Tower did. Left Side Barrier Tower was harder to jump, but that's because it had ASM that was constantly pushing you downward, which is a really janky way to implement that. Uh, yeah, that was probably from the bad level design contest. If I'm not mistaken, isn't Terry Davis the Temple OS guy? Yeah, he had paranoid delusions of, uh, like, the government trying to kill him and stuff. Anyway, the level was all about how the government's trying to kill you. Sorry, I think saying paranoid delusions buries the lead a little bit. He, I, he had, he was like diagnosed with schizophrenia if I'm not mistaken. At the end of the day, I understand the frustrations, but do consider that it probably wasn't intentionally designed to be 
harmful or hateful. Contests like this are built on the backbone of people trying to be funny, and a lot of people don't... don't understand how to be tasteful. I'm not saying it's excusable, I'm saying just it's probably not malicious. Hey, Gilder, thanks for the raid. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, this, this, uh, level in particular has hit a distasteful note. normal human legs, nice. Hey, if you enjoyed that uh, Superbugs Awaken game, me and Gilder are gonna play more of it on Wednesday. Nice, excellent, great. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying that it shouldn't make people uncomfortable. I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just commenting that I think sometimes people are like, what is it that's what is it that's funny? What can I do that's gonna make other people think I'm funny? And I think sometimes people just don't realize Ducking there, huh? Why did I go back left? Fuck. That's fair. I understand where you're coming from. in the unenviable position of defending it, so I'm going to stop now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, the, I mean, mechanically, it's quite questionable. It, it's doing fine. It's, it's achieving all desired goals. Oh, you just straight up put a spawner here. That's maybe to my benefit, maybe not. Yeah, you can butt slide. God, what is wrong with my Naki Tech? Now's a bad time for you, Naki Tech. Now's a real bad time for you. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. Did it crash when it tried to load? What the fuck?
The Nakitek's a little harder to clean than just alcohol and Q-tips. Oh, Gilder missed the good one. I forgot. We When Gilder gets back, maybe we should show him the good one. I don't care about the music. I'm past the need for music.
I'll go back to both of them real quick. They're both short. Okay, so you can't swim up very fast. Otherwise, swimming's normal, but you just can't swim up very fast. Oh, bully, thanks so much for the five bucks. Is it gonna kill me? No, it'll push me, okay. I'm glad I saved say that. Is Gilder here? Did he get back from making food? Um, so I can show him the cool level. We'll give him a second to get back. He is not he is not on my clock. I'm on his. I just wanted to share this with him.
Kiwi, thanks so much for the resub. Uh, give me a second. I'm gonna go uh, stand up and stretch, stretch my legs and get a drink, and I'll be right back. If uh, Gilder's still getting food when I get back, we'll um, do the next level, and then we'll come back to it when he's back. So I'll be right back. All right, I grabbed my snack. Hey, Gilder. It's actually quite good. Hello, Mario, bring me three apples. You got it. I just thought I'd share this with you. Oh my God, I forgot that I could jump high. Never give up. You have taken the first step towards self-improvement. Your next, next task is to find seven apples. What's that? Six apples is enough? Okay. I need to get ten apples on this one, right? Hey, that's my, that's my car. Oh, you think that this is where the bait stops? Just wait. This is number 34. I put the correct number back on screen.
out. This is a pretty good implementation, though, of the catch 20 fruit or catch 100 fruit level, right? Lovely, thanks for the raid. And Bubsy music. Thirty nine was the previous one. For your final task, you must select only one apple and bring it to me. If this had stayed focused on Paris and Grey Witch. And made one change that I can think of. One change comes to mind. This would be... Incredible. The only change they needed to make was that when you hit the message box, or before you hit the message box for each level, the fruit shouldn't spawn. Because in Pears and Grey Witch, until you talk to, uh, until you talk to Grey, um the the um you can't make progress if it hadn't pandered with uh Lamalana music and Bubsy music and just kept on like focused on the goal this would, <laughs> this would have been like a 10 out of 10 for me but instead of being a Pears and Grey Witch hack, it's a it's an Author Blues hack, which I still hey thanks. I think that's super cool. Well, fortunately, it's all qualitative judging, not quantitative judging. So our feedback is not a score. Our feedback is a, here's some notes about what we liked and didn't like about it. Uh, 38 was the last one I played. This is 39. Oh, 
Oh my god, you're right, Glum. You could you could just reskin the disco shells to look like uh, black orbs with fire coming off of them. There's a lot going on here. What? The life of crime never ends. How do I not fall through there? Oh, do I have to take a hit? Is that what I'm trying to do? Great witch, thank you so much for the dollar. Oh, forgot to take a hit there.
What's going on with the player sprites? It looks like it's using some weird power-up number. Power-ups uh, in Super Mario World are really weird. Certain power-up numbers uh, pull from weird places in uh, sprite sheets and uh, get weird color palettes. supposed to make it over there? It's really not obvious to me what I'm supposed to do there. I can't seem to get enough height to go over the top, at least not as far as I can tell. Maybe I can. Maybe I just haven't been paying enough attention and I could totally make enough height. frustrating jump there. This is a weird mechanic because it's not just me who's affected by my power-up state. Like, the blocks are legitimately solid or not solid based on my power-up state. Enemies are affected by it as well. That's just such a weird mechanic.
Uh, this is not the Despacito one. The Despacito one was different. These are all on SMW Central. That's tough. That's really tough. I have to like hit the bottom of the of the muncher. If you hit it from the side, you die. I don't know why I keep ducking a small Mario. Ducking does nothing a small Mario. Very fast to the left, my man. Oh, I needed to take a hit. Ugh. Need to give that one a little bigger bounce, huh? Alright. This is a cool level. This is a really, really cool level. I like this mechanic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. Well, in crime mode, press down to strike pose. You know, the reserve box may become useful later. Well, thankfully I can salvage this even though I did it wrong. I have an idea of what it wants me to do, I'm just trying to figure out how to get there. Ooh, you have to do all that very fast, huh?
Uh, is the only one that I do typically, yeah. I've not been invited to judge anything else, but I'm not sure anything else would really match my taste, to be honest. back down here. I was close.
Full room again. Stop doing that, come on. Touching these blocks makes a one-up sound as well. What are those supposed to help me accomplish? Extremely lewd content. Damn. Backwards? That sucks.
It just occurred to me. That sucks. Wow. 
Bet you didn't intend me to use the Starman like that. Or maybe you did, I don't know. It seems like a lot of this could be cheesed by me just not playing the objective correctly. Like, let me give you a for instance. This probably could have been straightened out a little bit if the hack had or if it hadn't been a 72 hour contest, but I don't think it's actually like a bug in the sense that um, there's anything wrong with it. I just think that there's uh, sections where I get to not do what it wants me to because of it. And that's probably not intentional, to be honest. Uh, without the shell, I am in trouble, though. If I had the shell, I could choose the end of this. Yeah, I think that would fix it, right? Just, uh, put, put, uh, put walls in to block me. The hack author might also have been perfectly aware of this and fine with it, in which case, I mean, it's not really... There's nothing wrong with it anymore, right? I could just call that good enough. I mean, we saw the end. I know how to get there. I know the mechanics for it. I could just call it there. <laughs> 